Thank you, Senator Collins, and thank you so much for your incredible leadership. Um, many times in issues that are as contentious as this one, stepping out isn't always easy. But it's absolutely essential if we're going to get something done, to actually come to the table, sit down and say, what can work? You know, we, we've gone through a series of votes. We've taken all these votes pretty much before, and the outcome hasn't changed. And if we want to get something done, it has to be bipartisan, it has to be simple, and it has to accomplish the purpose. And so if the purpose is no fly, no buy, we've accomplished the purpose. Because if you're on the no fly list and you attempt to purchase a weapon, you will not be able to secure that weapon. You will have the rights to appeal, as you should with the Second Amendment, but you will not be able to purchase that weapon. If you've been on that no-fly list or that selectee list in the last five years and have come off like, like the Orlando uh, terrorist, then you have an opportunity, in fact, to have it pinged and have notice. And the one provision I especially believe is critical is that the FBI can't do this alone. We need the involvement of local law enforcement and the ability to notify local law enforcement is absolutely critical. And so um, no fly, no buy is taken care of in this bill. It's a great bipartisan proposal. I applaud all of my colleagues who have taken what can only be a, a pretty um, uh, uh, terrifying in some ways first step into trying to achieve bipartisan consensus on an issue that today is one of the most contentious issues before the United States Senate. These are people who want to get things done, and we look forward to working with all the rest of our colleagues in explaining this proposal and moving this concept forward, hopefully getting a vote, and Susan can respond to that, hopefully getting a vote, but actually getting something done, passing a law, which to me is a critical um, uh, first step in having a broader discussion. I would tell you this. Um, I think my colleagues in the Democratic Caucus are ready to get something done. They're ready to move the ball forward. And I think the lens at which everyone is looking at this is, does this actually accomplish the goal of no fly, no buy? We don't know yet what that count's going to be ultimately. We'll have to do the legwork that happens anytime you have something like this. But I would strongly resist a characterization of, of uh, and you know, and analyzing this proposal as being political.